welcome back to High Stakes. Today, we will be discussing the following NCAF matches that is happening on Wednesday, October 18th, 2023. We will be providing our team, total and prop picks for the day. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you want access to our premium picks, you can check out our Patreon page. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description and comment section below. Florida International, FIU, vs. Sam Houston State If the Panthers have struggled in a big way lately, the Bearcats have been even worse all season, posting no wins through their first six games of the season, including three straight losses in the conference, matched only by the Panthers' four. Over that time, the Bearcats have managed just nine offensive touchdowns, with just three of those coming on the ground alongside a measly 414 rushing yards, and unless they can turn those woes around, their struggles will continue. During their loss a week ago to New Mexico State, the Bearcats saw one of their most promising starts from QB Keegan Shoemaker, as he completed 32 of 48 passes for 278 yards and two touchdowns with no interceptions. But with nothing on the ground, the team managed just 13 points in another loss, so unless he can be lights out again through the air, this could be another slog for Sam Houston fans. Despite a winless Conference USA record for both teams this season, it is evident that only the Panthers have achieved success with three significant victories. The Bearcats, on the other hand, have struggled to secure a win so far. Regrettably for the Bearcats, their scoring has averaged less than 12 points per game this season. Facing a team that has consistently posted high scores, this performance is unlikely to be sufficient. With conference pride at stake and the upcoming game holding the potential to define FIU's season, anticipate them delivering their best performance on the road. After a 3-1 start to the season with wins over Maine, North Texas, and Yukon, the Panthers have struggled in recent times, dropping three straight games, and now, they have the opportunity to pick up their first conference victory of the year after going 0-4 to to this point. While they've found success through the air, the strength of this Panthers offense that has averaged 28 PPG in victories this season has been on the ground, with a combined 12 touchdowns that have kept them in many games. Last week however, this was a team that struggled all around, with just a 50% completion rate through the air with no scores and an interception, but once again, they found some success on the ground with two rushing touchdowns while unfortunately struggling to break the 100-yard barrier as a team, and now, they face a potential breaking point for a once-promising season. While this game should be a close one, it appears as though it's bound to be a low-scoring one as well, as these two teams have combined to score over 20 or more points just three times in their 13 games this season, and with defenses that have given up over 30 just four times combined, it lends itself to being a defensive slog. Unfortunately for the Bearcats, they've notched just under 12 points a game this season, and while the Panthers have been a little better with 19 PPG this year, they've only managed to combine 37 points in their three-game losing skid, so expect this one to be a tough battle with two one-dimensional offenses that may struggle in a big way here. Keep it simple, take the under. Next we have New Mexico State vs UTEP the New Mexico State Aggies have been struggling a bit on the offensive side of the field as they are 67th in college football with 30.0 points per game this season. They are getting a bunch of yards though as they rank 53rd in passing yards, 244.9, and 20th in rushing yards, 196.3, so far. Quarterback Diego Pavia is one of the few players in college football to lead the program in both passing and rushing yards as he is currently 102 of 164, 62.2 completion percentage, for 1,615 yards with 14 passing touchdowns to 5 interceptions while running 76 times for 429 yards, 5.6 yards per carry, with a pair of rushing touchdowns. The defense for the Aggies has been less than ideal as they are 73rd in the sport with 26.1 points per game giving up 386.0 total yards, 258.7 passing, 127.3 rushing. Their defense is not getting a lot of pressure in forcing turnovers as they have 15 sacks, 27 pass deflections, 2 interceptions, 4 forced fumbles and 3 fumble recoveries. Sophomore linebacker Keyshawn Elliott has been doing a bit of everything thus far as he has 49 total tackles, 24 solo, 25 assisted, 1 sack, 1 forced fumble, 1 fumble recovery and 3 pass deflection. In recent offensive performances, the Aggies have averaged 26.3 points over their last 4 games, whereas the Miners have scored 16.4 points in their previous 5 games. 
The notable distinction lies in the passing offense, with New Mexico boasting a 15 to 5 touchdown to interception ratio as a team, while UTEP is currently at a less than ideal 8 to 8 ratio. With injuries affecting the quarterback position for the Miners, it's challenging to envision them keeping the game closely contested. All things considered, the prediction is for the New Mexico State Aggies to secure a victory on the road by more than a field goal. The UTEP Miners have been one of the most dreadful offenses in college football this year as they are 127th in points, 17.7, 97th in passing yards, 204.0, and tied for 64th in rushing yards, 156.0, on a per-game basis. Senior quarterback Gavin Hardison has not played since September 23rd with an arm injury and is listed as questionable for this game as well. That means the running game will have to step up as sophomore Torrance Burgess Jr. has been doing. He has 87 rushing attempts for 452 yards, 5.2 yards per carry, with two rushing touchdowns while also racking in eight catches for 117 yards, 14.6 yards per reception. The defense of the UTEP Miners have been struggling as they are 73rd in the nation with 26.1 points per game. They are also allowing 382.0 total yards per game, 204.7 passing, 177.3 rushing, so they need to figure out how to fix that up. As a team they have 16 sacks, 25 pass deflections, 3 interceptions, 8 forced fumbles and a pair of fumble recoveries. Senior defensive end Praise Amayle has been doing very well as he has posted 23 total tackles, 12 solo, 11 assists, 4 sacks, 2 forced fumbles, 1 interception and a pass deflection. Neither team is moving the ball incredibly well on third down attempts and that is going to force more punts as New Mexico State is converting on 40% of their opportunities while UTEP is moving the chains on 32.26% of their chances. These offensive lines are struggling a bit and allowing too many sacks to really feel like things are going to do well. The defenses last week also gave up a combined 27 points so that is going to really limit offensive performances going forward in this game. The under has hit in 5 of the last 7 away games for the Aggies and in 8 of the previous 12 minors games so take under 49.5 points here. Thank you for tuning into this video. Kindly consider subscribing to our channel and activating notifications to stay updated on all our future content. For exclusive access to our premium picks, feel free to explore our Patreon page. The link to our Patreon page is available in both the video description and the comments section below. Your support is greatly appreciated.